explain, sort of summarise for us the charges faced by Trump and his organisation? Well, well, the key here is that Trump himself personally is not really under fire at all. This is all about his company that he once led. This is targeting the, the company, not uh, Donald Trump personally. Although the fact that his name is on the uh, on the letterhead is uh, is certainly the reason that they're pursuing this. Essentially, the uh, the prosecutors are claiming that there were benefits that were given to employees of Trump company that uh, were not reported uh, as taxable income. Uh, they had drivers. They had the opportunity to have somebody drive them to work in some cases, for example, and that wasn't being reported as income. Uh, and the New York authorities are going after that. Uh, uh, on that basis, keep in mind that there are literally hundreds, if not thousands of companies in New York that have done the same thing that simply aren't attached to Donald Trump. This in the wake of the subpoena for the January 6th committee and everything else that's going on around him at the moment. Yeah, and in just about two weeks before we have midterm elections where the Democrats in this country are desperate. And I know you guys are looking at our politics over here thinking, well, at least we're not that bad. Uh, we're kind of looking over at Britain going, well, at least we're not that bad. So I think both of us are looking across the uh, across the pond going, well, it could be worse. Well, yeah, I mean, it's, it's a bit of a scary time, I think, on both sides, isn't it, at the moment? At least we seem to be sorting things out over here now, Steve. Uh, what, what about uh, Trump's children involved in all of this? You know, it's, it's interesting because you have, again, the prosecutions from, from January 6th. They're issuing a subpoena that, that won't even be heard until well after the midterm elections and, and possibly after uh, there's a change in, in power in the Congress that could you know, re repeal the subpoenas, that could uh, re reverse course on the uh, January 6th commission hearings overall. Uh, you know, again, anything attached to Trump right now is in the target sites of the Democrats when we're two weeks from a very crucial midterm election. And I think what we're looking at politically here is that the Democrats are just trying to taint Trump, both to see if it can hurt Republicans in the upcoming elections, and also to try and taint him and maybe prevent him from being able to run for president two years from now.